first impression time, guys. And today we have the house of Memo Paris. Let's go. Hey guys, Tim here. Welcome back to another video. And today's gonna be a quite a relaxed type of video, all right? Because we're just doing first impression of the house of Memo Paris. And before I say anything, guys, this was sent to me by one of my subscribers. You know who you are. Thank you, thank you so much for your kindness. He sent me 10 of these. I'm probably not gonna smell all 10 of them on camera right now. Maybe, maybe, we'll see. We'll see about the time. But how I'm gonna do this is that since it's a first impression, do one thing is, do not take me seriously. If I don't like a fragrance, it's just the first impression, all right? So how I'm gonna do this is, I'm gonna smell the fragrance, guys, and I'll tell you if I want to continue testing it further to see I'm interested or I'm not interested, okay? So one pile interested, meaning that I'll test it further. One pile, I'm not interested in it, all right? So guys, let's start off with this first one right here. We have Shams Oud. And I usually just like to spray it right into the car if they have a card. And guys, I'm smelling all this blind, by the way. I do not know all the notes for these prior, so here you go. So to me, it comes off like a, a, a soft honey and oud kind of smell, sham oud. I don't know if that's entirely correct, but it has like, it's a sweet kind of oud. Like imagine, imagine oud wood, but more intense with a bit of honey. That's what the, I get out of Shams Oud right now. It is nice, I do like it. I don't know if I like it so much though, but this definitely is going into the interested pile. I'm definitely gonna be testing this one out more. So guys, Shams Oud, already a really, really good start. Next, we're gonna go with a more well-known one. This one is called African Leather. Wow. For leather fragrance, it is very, very refreshing. Like, I don't know if I actually get leather. Maybe it's like way in the background. But it's so citrusy. It's, it's refreshing, citrusy. Maybe a bit of lavender. I don't know, I, I kind of like it. It feels really, I mean, <laughs> okay, I guess I, I guess say it's quite simple. I guess there's a bit of cardamom in here too. Cardamom, lavender. It's nice, it's, it's nice. Um, do, am I too interested in it? Probably, uh, probably not. I'm not too interested in this because it smells kind of designerish to me. It has a designerish DNA, maybe with some like niche quality ingredients, but it's nothing too special to me. Sorry, guys. I don't really enjoy. <laughs> I do enjoy it, but I don't think it's you know it warrants a niche kind of bottle. So not interested in African leather. The next one we have, O de Memo. Ooh, what a cool name, O de Memo. Hmm, very, another very refreshing one. It has indefinitely, indefinitely some white florals in here. Like imagine white floral with some fresh, fresh citrus on top. It smells really nice. You know, I'm a big fan of white floral guys. So this, this is a treat. This really is a treat. I like this fragrance. Um, I would say this is definitely more feminine because I, the white floral in here has, you know, absolutely no masculinity at all. It smells definitely more feminine. And right now, I actually get a bit of a soapiness as well. So to sum up this fragrance, Eau de Memo for me is a really fresh white floral fragrance with like a soapy kind of touch to it. I like it. It might be like a contender for my clean fragrance collection because I do need a more clean smelling fragrances. I do enjoy that from time to time. A fragrance that you can wear anytime at all when you want to smell clean. So definitely interested in testing out Oda Memo. Two wins and one loss so far, guys. Next one, let's go with Marfa. Oh, oh. <clears throat> that's strong. Wow, that's, hmm. Right now, dude, from this distant away, I'm getting some powdery, powdery smell. Oh, wow. Man, it's so powdery. What is this? Crisis. Oh, man, I guess, um, I guess some citruses, some mandarin and really, really powder, powder type note. I think I think that's another white floral um, smell. I can't really tell what kind of white floral it is, but it just smells really, really powdery with like a touch of mandarin or something orangey. Not my favorite though, it's, it's annoyingly powdery. So definite no for me, for, for Marfa guys. Mmm, god, <laughs> too much for me. I, I, I don't enjoy powdery scent all too much. Next we have arguably the more popular one. I see a lot of people actually like this fragrance. This one is called Russian Leather. Now that I think about it, I recall one particular fragrance, uh, 
person who likes this fragrance, that is Ashton from Sense. I think if I remember correctly, he really, really enjoys this one. So let's see um, if I will like it. What? <laughs> Damn. Ashton, buddy, my friend, my uh, awesome brother and um, member of Team Top 5. <laughs> you have one awesome taste. Guys, this is amazing. It's fresh, green, and you guys know me. I don't really like green fragrances. This is one I actually kind of enjoy. Like, it's not my favorite of all green fragrances, of course. But I really do enjoy this one. It smells so refreshing, so pleasing. And Russian leather, again, guys, with the name leather, I don't get any leather in here. I think it's just the opening. Maybe the leather is way more in the dry down, or maybe it'll become more prominent on skin or something. But I don't get much leather. I just get this really fresh green citrusy vibe. Like it's nothing, it's not like a designer fresh green citrus. It definitely smells niche and it has some really creative nuances to it that I can't pinpoint right now. But Russian leather guys, my favorite so far from what I've tried. Out of all the five I've tried so far, Russian leather is my favorite. So guys, definitely going into the test later pile. Next we have a fragrance that I don't know how to pronounce really. It's called Lalibella. Lalibella. Whatever it is the name guys. Lalibella. So let's test this one out. Rose. Oud. Rose Oud. Um, to me, Rose Oud are way overdone. And it's hard to make them interesting. But this one, the rose feels like watery kind of rose. Like, you know, the rose in uh, Lyric Man is a pretty, you know, fresh watery rose. This has like a also, I guess, similar fresh watery rose, but the oud in this really backs it up really well. So I really don't know what to think of this fragrance. Um, I find it to be a little bit boring, personally, because rose oud are everywhere, man. It's such a common, common combination. Like I said, it's hard to make it interesting. I don't think this one is interesting enough for me to like it. So sorry, Lalibella, you're not <laughs> you're not gonna make it into the interested pile, unfortunately. Great fragrance, just you know. Um, uninteresting in comparison to the rose, the popular, really amazing, amazing, unique rose suit that are out there right now. Guys, before I go on, I actually have some embarrassing thing to tell you guys. I miscounted, you know, I failed at counting. He didn't send me 10, he sent me 12. So, <laughs> with that said, guys, uh, let's move on to the next one. Granada. 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 Hmm. Man, soapy clean, soapy clean, fresh, man, blah, blah, <laughs> soapy clean, fresh. That's all I get out of this right now. Very un uninteresting, especially for a niche fragrance. I don't know. <laughs> Some people might find a good, a good juice for this, but to me, just too, too soapy clean. I, mm, I have a problem with soapy clean fragrances at a high price tag because. I really don't see the point to them. I mean, you're paying so much, you might as well pay for something interesting. Like, you know? Like, you know what I mean? You pay two, three hundred dollars for a fragrance, for a niche fragrance, you want something that's really unique, you want something that's very interesting, and soapy clean fragrances sometimes are just not interesting enough to warrant that high of a price tag. So, sorry. Sorry, man. Granada, you, you won't be making it to my <laughs> test later pile. Guys, but still, you know, it's not a bad fragrance, just to me, I don't think it's interesting enough to warrant a niche price, ta the price tag. Next one, we have a name that kind of scares me. This one is called Luxor Oud. So, you guys know Luxor, Egypt, you know, hot, deserty place, plus Oud. I don't know, I don't know, man. I don't know if I would like this one. Man, already the Oud is like punching me. In the face. It is really this distant, like <laughs> Mike Tysoning me in the face. Oh god. But to be honest, it's not bad. It's it's, it's not bad. It's really smooth. It's <laughs> for an oud fragrance. This is a really really smooth, like inoffensive oud fragrance. Perfect, I think, for the winter time. Very refined, upscale oud fragrance. I like this. I actually really really like this. Wow. I never thought, you know, I don't know. the opening is the, is the part that's just too punchy and it'll kill your nose right away if you smell it immediately, I guess. Like, but wait a few seconds like I did just now and smell looks so rude. It's actually really, really good. Like, so, so good. Whoa. 
one of the better ooze that I've tried. So guys, I'm not gonna waste any more time with this fragrance. Uh, so we can move on to the other one because I still have like four more to test. But definitely one of my favorite like oud heavy fragrance that I've tried so far like in my fragrance journey. Luxor oud. It's just really, really, really nice. So definitely interested. Next one guys, uh, I can't pronounce this one either. Maybe it's called Inle, Inle, In something. I can't pronounce this one, but uh, I don't know, we'll see if it smells good. If, I, if it smells good, it doesn't matter if I can pronounce it or not, I'll still buy it. Oh, that was on my hand. Christ, it's vegan. Man, why? Why with another fresh, clean one? Why? Okay, guys, you remember Granada? This one is fresh, soapy, clean, right? This one is fresh, soapy, clean, like almost the same as this, but with more citrus. Why? No, I'm just gonna pass on this one. It's nothing too interesting. Like I said, guys, I already said all that I have to say about fresh and clean fragrances at this high of a price tag. Nothing in that interesting to me. We're just gonna skip that one right now. Inlay, come on, inlay. Next one, we have the Conor McGregor leather or also known as Irish leather. Guys, I, like, I haven't said this before in the beginning of the video, but I love the packaging on these, come on. Like even like the samples have really, really awesome packaging. Like well done, that's, that's how you make a niche house. You know, you, you have to make it luxur luxurious in this day and age, like in the packaging and everything. This house definitely knows what it's doing in that department. I really, really appreciate that. So, uh, Conor McGregor, see what he smells like. Iris, is that Iris? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, I don't like Iris. Huh? But it's not so bad. I mean, it's okay. I don't know if it's actually Iris. Actually, my nose could be playing tricks on me now because I smell so many of them. But it doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't smell good either. Like, it's interesting, I guess. It's a little bit spicy. It's like, I, what I get right now is like some form of like very um, strange iris. This, this doesn't smell straight up of iris to me. I like, I could say my nose could be wrong right now, but it, it's this one I can actually smell some leather. So thank God, Irish leather, I can actually smell some leather. But there's some definite spices in here. It, it's not my favorite, but it is nice. But it is nice. I will definitely need to test this one out more. I think it's a, it's it's interesting enough to warrant my to warrant more testing. But we'll have to see. Not my favorite, but I will be testing this one out more. So guys, Iris leather, interested list. Next we have Moon Fever. Moon Fever. Moon Fever. Moon Fever. I just feel like the gravity just shift, guys. I'm floating. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh oh shit. Ah. Oh. <sighs> Citrus, green, uninteresting, doesn't smell bad, but complete worthy of a skip. <laughs> okay, so I'm not just gonna destroy a fragrance like that. I mean, okay, so first things first, it is citrusy, it is a little bit green, like um, kind of like a grassy-ish green, but Mm, again, like I'm not I'm not that interested in those kind of fragrances. It's not clean like the other one is, but you know, citrus green. Those it's been done so much, guys. It's been it's been done so much. It doesn't interest me anymore. So unfortunately, I have to skip Moon Fever. Although I, I really like the name. Last one, guys. I decided to save this one for last because this one is very controversial. Some people love it. Some people hate it. And this one is called an Italian leather. Italian leather, guys. Italian leather. So, I think if I'm not, if I'm uh, thinking correctly, Mario came from Italy. So, this should not disappoint me because I like Mario. I like Luigi. I like that game in general. Mm. A lot of people said they, they have that tomato leaf. They get that tomato leaf kind of smell and it smells weird. <clears throat> One thing I can confirm, it does smell weird. I don't know if I like it all too much. Like it's very vegetal, like green vegetal, like you're smelling like a, like you're grabbing a chunk of vegetables and just smelling it like that. Like mainly like tomato, veg, tomato leaf and other mixed vegetables. I don't know if I like this one all too much. It's too strange. I don't think the combination works, but I mean on the upside, if you're looking for a very unique, unique vegetable heavy fragrance, I can I recommend no other than this one. 
But um, I don't know. I think it's such a weird combination. I'm on the fence with this one actually. I don't know if I want to test this more or not. I'm really on the fence with it. But I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt for now, and I'm gonna test this thing further because, guys, with a scent like this, a weird scent, usually it has some good developments to it. You know, if I'm lucky. So I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna test this one later as well. So it's going into the interest pile. So guys, here are the winner for today. These are the fragrances that I'm gonna be testing. I know you guys can't see the name. So here they are right now, focus camera. So here guys, these are all the winner of today. These are all the fragrances I'll be testing further from this house. And later on after I have tested all of these, I will be making an update video to tell you guys which of these are my absolute favorite from this house and ones that you have, have to try. All right guys, thank you so much for joining me in this casual first impression. Like, uh, sorry if I'm a bit brutal. But guys, at least you guys get to see more of me personally. If you guys ask anyone else, Manny from Cascade Sand, Bradley from Triple Ink, I talk to those guys on the regular. I'm a lot more brutal with fragrances than I like to show on camera. So guys, I hope you guys uh, like this kind of brutal side of me. And thank you again for watching. And also guys, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like me a lot, a lot, a lot. Please consider checking out my Patreon. The link's in the description or at patreon.com slash imagine And before I go, I'd like to thank, of course, all my early Patreon supporters. Your name is on the side right here somewhere. And you guys are amazing, as always. You guys know that already. You know, I couldn't do this without you guys. So guys, with that said, I'll see you guys again with another video. Peace out and bye, 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 bye.